neurological symptoms as a result of mercury poisoning can be identified through multiple types of tests. The hair by introduced tests are part of human biomonitoring or HBM assessment scheme. Implements required are as follows. HBM assessment information sheet, two pens or pencils, stopwatch, matches contained within matchbox, notebook or paper sheet, proper seats or mattress, small flashlight, protein neuro test strips, informed consent sheet, preservative tubes for urine collection, and camera. Explanation will be given to respondent regarding the purpose and objectives prior to starting the test. Afterwards, respondent will be approached for approval and signing of informed consent. The first test, anamnesis. During anamnesis, respondent will be asked for their general health condition, whether or not they have particular issues that might be related to mercury exposure, which include but not limited to frequent nausea, headache, constipation, hypersalivation, as well as other questions related to smoking habit, occupation, activity and living environment of respondent. For female respondent, includes question of uses of skin cream. This test will then be continued to examine the palate, inside lining of the cheeks, uses of amalgam, and bluish discoloration of the gum. The second test regarding ataxia or lack of muscle control during voluntary movements such as walking or picking up objects. To identify signs and symptoms of ataxia, first, have respondent to walk in a straight line with eyes open, then to repeat the same task with eyes closed. Respondent without ataxia will be able to follow a straight line. Respondent with mercury poisoning will tend to veer and unable to follow a straight line, both with eyes open and eyes closed. Secondly, have respondent to run the heel of one foot down the shin of the other leg, and then to bring the heel back up to the knee and start again. Repeat with the other leg, to be done both with eyes open and eyes closed. If this step cannot be done with respondent in resting position, do this with respondent sitting down, also to be done both with eyes open and eyes closed. Respondent without ataxia will perform smooth movement during the test, whereas respondent with ataxia will exhibit difficulties performing the movement. The third test regarding tremor, unintentional rhythmic muscle movement involving two and four movements of one or more parts of the body. One symptom of mercury poisoning. To identify, first, have respondent standing and place a sheet of paper on the respondent's outstretched hand with palms facing up. Repeat this task with palms facing down. If the paper is observed trembling, respondent is suffering from tremor. Secondly, respondent will be subjected to finger-to-nose test. Have respondent standing with fully extended arms from side of the body around 45 degree angle, then have them make a sweeping movement to almost touch their nose. Repeat this test with eyes closed. A healthy respondent will be able to perform the movement easily without observed tremor or trembling finger. Respondent with indication of severe poisoning will exhibit difficulties performing the movement with eyes closed. The fourth test, dysdia docokinesia, medical term for an impaired ability to perform rapid, alternating movements. First, have respondent standing with both hands held up and bent parallel to their ears. Then have them rotate their hands at wrist. Do this repeatedly, first with eyes open, then with eyes closed. Healthy respondent will easily do hand rotation at wrist, both inward and outward. Respondent with indication of mercury poisoning will usually exhibit stiffness and difficulty doing hand rotation as well as inconsistent or out of sync movement between both hands. The fifth test, neuropsychological test. First, matchbox test. Put an empty matchbox on top of the table, then put 10 matches both on the left and right sides of the box, positioned at 15 centimeters away on both sides. Ask respondent to put the matches back into the box alternately between left and right sides. Healthy respondent will be able to finish this test in less than 17 seconds, whereas respondent with mercury contamination will require much longer time to put the matches back into the box. Pencil tapping test. Providing table to place the paper sheet 
is advised. Respondent will be asked to randomly draw as many dots as possible on the paper sheet using pencil or pen. Healthy respondent will be able to draw more than 45 dots in 10 seconds. Whereas respondent with mercury contamination will have difficulty drawing dots with drawing resemble those of lines. The sixth test, urine protein test. This test is conducted in order to check the urine for protein. Ask respondent to collect their urine into the provided preservative tube. Then dip the test strip in the tube and match the colors. Healthy respondent will have result of light green on the strip if no protein is detected. Mercury contaminated respondent will have result of color green on the strip which shows detected protein. After the assessment is done, assessor will then accumulate all the scores from the test described above. The resulting score will exhibit whether or not respondents suffer from mercury intoxication. For a healthy person, the score will be less than 3. Respondent with indication of mercury poisoning will have score ranging between 3 to 10 with score interpretation of 3 to 4, meaning moderate poisoning, and score 5 to 10, meaning severe poisoning. If the score falls within the range of 3 to 10, proceed with sampling of hair or blood and or urine at the nearest lab for testing of mercury in all biomarker. Conclusion Assessment whether or not respondent chronically contaminated with mercury will be based on the last score. For a healthy person, the circle score will be placed on box minus, score column 0 to 2, and less than HBM1. As for respondent with indication of severe mercury poisoning, a bold red circle score will be placed on column 5 to 10 and more than HBM2. After the assessment is finished, assessor will accumulate all the test scores. The final result will show whether or not respondents suffer from mercury intoxication or not. If poisoning is suspected, recombination will be given in relation to the resulting score. For result less than HBM1 or normal, precautionary measure is advised. For result between HBM1 and HBM2, avoidance of work environment with mercury exposure and restricting consumption of fish and rice from mining areas are advised. For result more than HBM2, refinement from any activity with mercury exposure is advised. Please consult medical specialist and start treatment or therapy. This message is brought to you by 